So that is actually, I'm, I'm going to pull some out. I'm oh, gonna, yeah. Yeah. So these are the sections that we still have. Uh, and um, what you can see is frontal cortex. This is all the gyrations, you know, that really make human brain so much different than, than animal brain. All this neocortex sort of higher level processing. And uh, just another section of this brain. Can you tell what part of, what section of the brain that is? I can. And, you know, it's taken me, uh, I've been doing this for a long time, and now I can totally tell that this is posterior and occipital, and this is much more frontal. You can recognize the thalamus, internal capsule, putamen, claustrum, etc. So much more forward part of the brain. Now, obviously, there's not much of the brain left because we processed right. so much uh, because we really, really want to document the changes. I guess now it's... although most of the time there's a loss of consciousness. It can be just a transient sort of neurologic deficit, you know, seeing stars tingling, uh, you know, just sort of a dazed feeling, sort of in the most mild. There is no physical damage. If you were to look at the brain, you'd say there's no damage. I mean, if, you know, there's no, not been any bleeding into the brain, there hasn't been any bruising of the brain, there hasn't been any direct injury that we can see. But, of course, we know now there's just microscopic damage, and that's... That's what's got this very delayed effect. Okay, and this. Yeah. When it gets beaten, beaten up beaten. like that, yeah, I'm just gonna brain slice. So, can you point out the particular damaged areas? Well, you're, this is the amygdala. Mm -hmm. um, here's hippocampus. It's that little curly cue. Yeah. This is thalamus. Those, that's, those are tremendous changes. Really, there's tremendous. <laughs> the brain doesn't repair itself? Well, the brain does repair itself um, most of the time. I mean, that's why the whole emphasis is on rest after concussion. Uh, but this delayed response that happens, it happens at least for weeks. And if you get another concussion on top of that one, the, the effects of it, the second concussion are much greater. So that your, your nerve cell's already like stressed and injured and trying to repair itself. And then if you get another concussion, that seems to be a very serious event. So it's, so it's like a piling on. A piling on of a, of a nerve cell that still hasn't recovered. I see, okay. Uh, and it's more susceptible to the second one. Uh, and, but then there's, but then the whole thing with this sports-related injury is that these concussions occur, let's say, often in their 20s, sometimes even in their teens or, or, or early 30s. And these players, these sports, these athletes stop their sport. They stop getting the concussions. They're, they, you know, retire. And then, but the process of neurodegeneration has been triggered by those insults that occurred at that time. Um, we think it, caught, it's, it requires multiple events. We think it multiple mild events, and it's probably not every individual, but in some individuals, the, that repetitive brain trauma that they had in their earlier years goes on. It, it sparks this cascade, you know, a cycle that as the person ages, gets worse and worse and worse. And eventually, 10, 20 years later, they come down with full-blown symptoms. Okay, let me ask you a question.